I don't know about you, but I'm fascinated by the weather. Hi, I'm Tatiana Sanders, a junior here at the University of North Florida in Jacksonville. Some of our graduate students get hands-on experience working with weather recording material and even help build it themselves. Well, this morning we're at one of the many towers that the Florida Department of Transportation owns along the interstate system in, in North Florida and Central Florida. And what we're doing is installing weather instruments on these towers as part of a project to build the Florida road weather information system. In the United States, there's approximately 50,000 fatalities every year um, due to accidents. We don't really know exactly how many of these accidents are weather related, but we believe that there is a fraction of them that are caused by things like heavy rainfall and hydroplaning. Um, also, fog is, is a huge problem, and, and that's another area that we're, we're trying to look at. We want to also let them know when there's heavy crosswinds. In Florida, our very heavy rains can reduce the visibility to uh, 100 feet in a very short distance. We want to be able to give people a heads up and a warning before that happens. Yeah, we're here with one of the portable stations uh, that we're going to be using for the road weather information system. And multiple instruments are on this uh, tripod based mount. The first one here is a visibility sensor. And this is going to give us uh, the instantaneous visibility along the road. It works by an infrared sensor and the reflection off of it from water droplets. A little higher up on the pole, we see the instrument package. This is the radiation shield, and inside that radiation shield is the temperature and relative humidity sensor. This is a sonic anemometer on the top here, and it has four small uh, acoustic transducers inside. Everybody looks for a propeller blade on a uh, anemometer, but this particular type uses acoustic sensors and they take the Doppler difference between multiple acoustic sensors to compute the wind velocity moving between it. Right now we're looking at the instrumentation on one of the road weather information system towers. Uh, this particular tower is in Ormond Beach. Now that first instrument right above is a visibility sensor and further up on the tower we have the wind temperature and humidity sensors in a separate package. So what we're doing that changes what has been traditionally done, people have forecast basically on the county scale and larger. We're trying to get it down to the individual mile, the individual neighborhood, real high resolution uh, in real time. What we call meso scale uh, level prediction of weather, but it's, it's more commonly referred to as neighborhood weather. Without our graduate students, in uh, mostly in computer information systems, uh, this project would have never gotten off the ground. It really is an information system, and that's what they're good at. They run every phase of the project. Dr. Lambert and I mostly uh, oversee the project, and, uh, and they run with it. What I do is I, I pretty much design the whole system from scratch. Uh, another colleague of mine, Mark Price, he and I, um, we've developed uh, all the components and um, designed all the software to uh, run this system. If you're going down the interstates, you get the call box every mile or so for uh, if your car breaks down or whatnot. And so what we did was we realized that we could use that same network to uh, set up a, a ethernet type network over that, over that microwave so that we can uh, use their communication backbone so we could get the information to the internet. Our weather stations have uh, the wires coming off of them and they plug into the computer and then I take over from there. I uh, built the, all the computers from the ground up, the operating system and the, the software that we're running in. We had installed the weather station, installed the UPS and all the power equipment and our server. And so I go out there and put the operating system on the computer and configure it to run on the network that they've given us. With the hands-on approach, um, I get to learn how you have to really do it in the real world, have to manage the project, um, have to handle all the situations uh, as they come each tower being slightly different, we have to know how to walk in there and, and uh, maintain that tower, integrate into that tower without tearing up the existing infrastructure in the tower. This is a great project for learning because I'm actually working on real communication systems and, and working with communication protocols, etc. In an educational environment, you're given uh, sort of canned assignments and projects, you know, things that, that are, will help you to learn, whereas this is research. This is Nobody knows how to do some of the things that we're trying to figure out how to do, so it sometimes stretches you a little. And I had to do a server build-up from the ground level up, including designing uh, the room for the server. I can pretty much do any, any type of wireless communications because of this project. The hope is that, you know, each year we'll put a new section in and eventually cover the uh, entire state of Florida within the next five years.
I'm actually considering uh, doing a PhD just so I can stay around and, and, and do research versus having to like get a real job. If you're interested in some of our graduate programs or have any questions, visit unf.edu.